Welcome to The Determined Mom Show, the only marketing podcast dedicated to guiding mom CEOs into tranquility, wealth, and multiplying those precious moments. Welcome to this episode of The Determined Mom Show. I have the fabulous Dr. Melissa Bird with me, and she is the CEO of Natural Born Rebel. So welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here, Amanda. Me too. I'm very excited to talk about this because it's something that we as women probably should do naturally, but we oftentimes are trained not to, um, just by society. So we're going to talk about how to use your intuition in your business and live the life of your dreams. Before we get started, I want you to tell everyone about you. Thank you so much. So I am Dr. Melissa Bird, and I am a public speaker and a life coach, and I run a company called Natural Born Rebel. And I'm actually entering into my fifth year of business, which just seems so bananas to me that I made it. That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> I know it's like that. What is it? 90% of businesses fail within the first five years. So yeah, yeah, so that's a big milestone. Like I've gotten over the hump. I'm very, mm -hmm. very excited about it. And I help women harness the power of their intuition and their inner rebel to make a difference in their lives and their communities. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. I love what you do. And I'm really happy that you're here because like I said, again, I feel like as women, our intuition is something that we listen to kind of only when it makes sense in our head, right? Like, yes. Like we're trained to do that from society. Like if, you know, somebody's, you know, your kid wants to go somewhere and you have a bad feeling about it. You're just like, Oh, I guess everybody wants him to go. The kid wants to go, you know, like, but your intuition knows that something is, you know, going to go awry. So I think we need to trust that more, but I'm excited to hear what you have to say about using it in our business. Yeah. So I think that there, so the thing I love about, um, really helping women learn how to identify their intuition is we've got our gut instinct and then we have our intuition. So our gut instinct is that thing that you were just talking about where you're like, oh, I just have a really yucky feeling about this, or I have a really great feeling about this, right? Like sometimes we focus so much on our, our like, oh my gosh, I'm so worried about this feelings that we forget that we also get gut feelings that say, follow that, you know, follow that trail to joy, right? But our intuition is something that comes in moments where we are not distracted. So oftentimes it'll come in the middle of the night. I don't know how many of you stay up in the middle of the night, but like I was up from two 30 to four 30. <laughs> like, totally. I have like an hour to two hours in there yeah, that I wake up in the middle of the night. Yep. Yeah. And, and my mind wasn't rushing. It was just, I had some thoughts that were coming in and I was like, oh, okay. And that's, that's your intuition. Like your intuition says, Hey, this would be really fun. Let's do this. And then what happens is your brain jumps in Amanda and goes, oh no, that's a terrible idea. Uh, we're going to die. And you can't take that risk. And what happens if we do this and we fail? And, and then our intuition goes, but what happens if we do it and we succeed? Or what yeah. happens if we do it and we change the course of history? Or what yeah. happens if we do it? And so, and so our brain says we can't take that risk because what happens if our intuition says, let's take that risk. Cause it's going to be super fun. Yeah. And, um, or because it will change things or because it will help things. And so I think what happens often is that we think our brain is giving us good advice for protection purposes, but that's really just the ego getting in the way. And we are meant to take risk. We are meant to experiment. I often say to my clients, what would happen if your favorite artist, your favorite musician, your favorite author wouldn't have taken the risk to do the thing? Wow. What if that's they were really, to their intuition? That's really powerful. That's crazy. When you think about it like that, because they're like, why wouldn't they? They're so talented. And then you think about yourself and you probably have doubtful thoughts, right? About what you do and about how you help people. But you're right. That's crazy. Well, if you think about it, I mean, what if you never would have listened to your intuition say, listen, we ought to do this podcast and help people in this way. Mm -hmm. Like, what if you wouldn't have listened? Yeah. Where would you be? 
right? Like, yeah. and that was your intuition. It wasn't like you woke up one morning when you were like 10 and you were like, you know what? Someday I'm going to be a famous podcaster and I'm going to run this business. And it's going to be super amazing. Like you never, that's not how this works, right? No, so, not at all. No, yeah. not even, <laughs> <laughs> not even close. <laughs> and so it's really about listening to those little nudges watching for the synchronicities, like oftentimes coincidences will happen and you'll hear the same message from multiple places Mm -hmm. and you'll be like, oh, oh, okay. And if it's places that don't connect, I always say that's God talking. It's not people talking like the universe is really bananas that way. So people who are not connected, but are in your life or you'll see billboards and then someone will say something and then you got to watch for those coincidences because that really is your intuition talking. Yeah. That happens to my husband and I like all of the time, like not even kidding. Like at least several times a week, we get these things and we'll come to each other and be like, Oh, I was thinking about this. And he's like, Oh my God, I was thinking about that too. And like, you know, because I saw this and I'm like, well, I saw this. And it's just like all of these things coming together. Um, I think it's amazing. So I have a question for you. Most of the women that are listening to this are busy moms and they also are running a business. They're running their house. They're doing all of the things. How can we clear a little bit of space for that quiet listening time? Well, so you don't clear the space. So that's the first thing. Okay. Um, there's a, you, you listen for it in the random times. For example, I get a lot of stuff in the shower. Mm. Like when I'm washing my hair, I'll yeah. get an idea and be like, oh, that's genius. So it's not that I scheduled aside five minutes of time to take a shower. I did not do that. Because mm-hmm. as you well know, we're jumping in the shower whenever we can. Yeah, right? exactly. Like we're like, oh crap, it's 3 p.m. I smell like crap. I'm gonna go get in the shower, right? Like, yeah, oh, the kids are all down for a nap. I can safely, I can safely pee, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> all the moms not alone, are, not right? alone, but yeah. yeah. Not alone. No, yeah. never alone. No. Um that happens eventually too. Um, so, <laughs> but like it's pick, it's noticing those moments. And the other thing that I teach all of my clients is to breathe with intention. So when we very first get on the phone, I will have my clients take a big, deep breath in through their nose, out through your mouth, just like this. Okay. All it takes is that breath to ground you to tether you and to allow random musings to come on in. Wow. That's awesome. And we can do that. I mean, you saw how it just shifted. Yeah. Right. And so we can do that multiple times a day and nobody knows what we're doing. And as soon as we ground ourselves in that way, the information can just stop, start pouring in. And so it takes not it, what it really is about is not listening to your brain quite so much. Mm -hmm. So it's about identifying, oh, I'm super anxious right now. Like really, really super anxious. I'm just going to take a deep breath and look at what I'm trying to control because we have no control. That's a total illusion. Yeah. Look at what I'm trying to like, you know, what, do you remember that game whack-a-mole from the stuff? Like what are we trying to push down Mm -hmm. uh, throughout the day where we can go, oh, actually this is not my stuff. Yeah. And, and it's, and that creates the opening for your intuition to come in to have the great idea for your business. I think the other thing that's really important for moms who are running businesses is for them to remember that we, we are not supposed to be working an eight hour day. Mm-hmm. Nobody works an eight hour day. It's an illusion, right? When people right. go to the office, they have to take mandatory breaks. They have to take a lunch break. They're wandering around having coffee. They're, you know, going to different cubicles and visiting different things. And they're in these meetings. They actually only work like three hours a day. Yeah. Well, if that's so the true. case, then we're all here wanting this freedom of running our businesses and being at home. Then the first thing to do is listen to your intuition, tell you when you work the best. Are you yeah. a morning person, an afternoon person or a night person? I have one client who is a night person, like her best work happens after midnight. Wow. And so I shifted, but she was trying to take 8 a.m. meetings. And I'm like, why are you doing that? And she's like, well, that's when people work. And I'm all, but you run your own business. You get to do whatever you want. What do you want? And she's like, well, I don't even get up until 10. And I was like, okay, so your first phone calls at noon. Yeah. She's like, I can do that. And I'm (laughs) all, yes, why not? Yeah. Because if your genius happens at night, 
Mm-hmm. Then why would you want to schedule an eight o'clock phone call? Because you can do whatever you want. Yeah. And you're so not going to be at the top of your, you know, your peak performance or your, even your sharpness. Your zone of your genius. Sharpness, you're not going to yeah. be in your zone of genius. If you are, if you are trying to force yourself into a working world, we run our own businesses because we want the freedom of being able to take care of our kids mm-hmm. and, to, and make our own money and be our own boss and do all of, I mean, we all have a million reasons why we are moms who run businesses. Yes. So why are we trying to conform to some stupid standard of corporate that we ran screaming from? Yeah. Why would that's we do that? so true. Yeah. That is a hundred percent true. I, oh my God. I, when I used to work at the credit union, I was like trapped in a grocery store because my branch was in a grocery store. So I was like trapped in this store. If the other, if there was no other manager on, I literally couldn't even go outside of the branch. I like had to, you know, I could go to the bathroom, but I had to like go get food and come right back. You know, like I couldn't even leave. It was so kind of really sad. And like, I felt like a prisoner, you know, and now I can go wherever I want, whenever I want, um, and do whatever during the day. Like it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And set some business hours for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Like the greatest piece of advice I ever got from my coach also hire a coach, like honestly, yeah, have a support system, get a VA and get a coach. (laughs) So you have some people to talk to that can get you out of your head and get you being productive. But you know, the greatest piece of advice I ever got from my coach was to set business hours. She's like, when are you working? And I'm all working. What? And she's Mm -hmm. like, girl, set your business hours. And I only work like four hours a day, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't actually work every day because I have set aside time for writing and all the other things that I want to do in my life. Mm -hmm. And since I have this incredibly abundant, beautiful business, I get to do whatever I want. Yeah. That's awesome. It's like, what is it? The Parkinson's principle, like however long you set aside for something, that's how long it's going to take you. So if you're giving yourself that eight hours, it's literally going to be filled with stuff. Right. Yep. Yeah. 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 I don't want to do that for eight hours. Yeah. Me neither. (laughs) Me neither. So if you're listening to this and you're still doing it for eight hours or your goal is to not be working at a job and instead work for yourself for eight hours, Let's just remove that thought because you can do anything you want and just work towards having that freedom and that flexibility to work when you want and as often as you want. Yeah. And your intuition will tell you, like, you know, how, you know, you've been getting the messages from multiple sources that say, this is what we ought to be doing. And you're like, oh no, no, that doesn't follow the rules. And like, if you are a woman who is a mother who is running a business, you're already breaking all the rules. Yep. That's so true. So true. And even a mother that's working and doing a side gig or a side hustle, or, you know, all of those things are really difficult. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So Yeah. yeah, I love it. Awesome. So I know that you have some things coming up in the spring. Um, But one thing that you have coming up is the embodying. Tell us, well, tell us about it. I know I'm not going to go there, but you, you tell us about what you have coming up. Well, so I have a couple of um, different things coming up. One is rebel school. Mm -hmm. Um, I teach rebel school a couple of times a year, and it is an 18 week program for 10 women where uh, it's all online. And the first six weeks, we really dig into healing rebel shame and wounding. So we really dig into the messages that we receive about uh, that shame us and wound us to hide our rebellion or to um, hide ourselves. And for those of you who are out there who are thinking, but I'm not a rebel, like I follow all the rules. That's also rebellion. Like I had one client who was like, but like, she's like, you talk all the time about how you were the super rebel, like skipping school and smoking cigarettes. You know, I was like Mm -hmm. the hardcore heavy metal quintessentials, eighties rocker chick. Love it. Um, but she's like, but I got straight A's and I play, you know, I was, I played by all the rule. I didn't break the rules. And I was like, but isn't that in and of itself a rebellion? Mm -hmm. Like what were the other people in your high school doing? And she's like, Oh my God, they weren't doing that too. Right. Yeah. The rebel too. And so I think we also, part of rebel school is redefining what it means to be a rebel. 
right? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and women by our very nature are rebellious. Yeah. Um, I mean, we create humanity. Like, yeah. How rebellious is that? Like, exactly. Just by the nature of who we are, we, we create human beings. And, and so, so there, and, and also we can choose not to be mothers, right? Like, or yeah. we choose to mother in a million different ways. So anyway, we heal that rebel shame and wounding. And then the next six weeks are about taking inspired intentional action. Because one of the things I see all the time with the women that I work with is that they think, oh, I just got to take action. I just got to do something. And when it doesn't come from that space of inspired intention, we don't get clarity from a space of inspired intention. And then we don't build our confidence from a place of inspiration. And so we learn how to take inspired intentional action and really learn what it is that you're passionate about so that every time you take an action, it's from a space of what you are here to do. And then the last six weeks are all about learning the, the tools to use your intuition because you got to heal your wounds before you can really tap into that intuitive spirit. So how to uh, discernment, um, learn how to use your intuition and really learn how to dig into the tools that you need to use that as a part of your daily living. So that's what that is. And you get four one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me when you do rebel school. So it's really, really, it's so beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing ever. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Four one-on-one -on -one coaching session sessions with you sounds amazing in itself. And then when you add on all of the, all of that training and transformation, yeah, really, it is beautiful. It is a, a deeply transformative experience. And then I'm also teaching a four week, um, class about embodying the heart of the warrior. And so I have created, I have a piece of art that was created by an artist named Thunder Voice, uh, Eagle. I think that's his name. Um, and it's this beautiful wood carving of a heart. And he talks about the heart of the warrior and it's, it's the eight embodiment, eight embodiments of the warrior. So courage, um, love, compassion, humility, and it's a, a four week course where we take two of the, of the, the concepts and dig into how we can use those for transformative leadership in our lives. Oh, wow. Because the other this thing is moms don't think they're, mo they're leaders. Like, no, I have a friend who coaches, does leadership coaching and she's, you know, these moms keep saying, well, I'm not a leader. You're like oh, leading really? everything. I know. Like you, you lead, lead the kids. Lead. I know exactly. <laughs> like everything you lead it. Yeah. Yeah. So I really, um, I I'm really excited about that class, um, for a couple of reasons, because it intersects a lot of different things that happen in the spring. Cause we have spring equinox. We also have Easter. We also have the Lenten season. If you mm -hmm. uh, have a Christian background. And so it actually falls into all those magical days that are mm -hmm. happening to connect us deeper with our intuition, with our spirit. That's awesome. We are leaders. And, uh, my youngest, of uh, my followers just came in <laughs> to deliver That's an right. Amazon package. <laughs> Cause it couldn't wait until after we're done recording, but, oh. um, yeah, exactly. So, uh, this is amazing. So when are all of those, um, you know, things happening and I know, yeah, I know the, let's see, you said rebel school starts on January 27th. Okay. And are you full for that yet or no? No. Okay. Cause that is going to be. So rebel school starts January 27th and it's 18 weeks. Awesome. And then, and then, um, and I have, uh, I still have some spots available for that. And then the next one will be in the fall. Usually we start around September and then, um, the heart of the warrior starts on March 20th and it's, uh, every Sunday for, uh, four Sundays. And then, I'm always doing, um, I offer misfit magic hour reading. So if you have an issue that you want clarity on and you just want to spend an hour of time with me, you can sign up for a misfit magic hour where we do coaching and clarity. And then I, I read cards so that you can get a really clear picture of what it is that you, um, are seeking on like one or two issues that have really been plaguing you. And you're like, I just want clarity on this. You know, oh so I goodness. get a lot of folks who come in who, um, uh, you know, they, they don't know how to navigate like an issue with a client 
or I have someone who's navigating an ugly divorce who I just talked to last week. And I was like, well, here's what you need to know about that. And so if you need stuff that you need clarity on, that's really, really a one-off and you don't really want to invest in coaching, then my misfit magic hours are super fun and a really great way to play with me for a little while. That's awesome. I had no idea you did that. I do. They're That's really awesome. Fun. I love it. Okay. So all of Melissa's or Dr. Bird's information is going to be in uh, the show notes. So um, <laughs> is there anything else that you want to share with us about following our intuition? Uh, yeah, actually, I want to play off of what you just said about everything going awry, mm-hmm. right? Like sometimes people just get really excited about being around us and nothing is wrong right? So your phone ringing while we're recording the podcast, your kiddo coming in while we're recording the podcast. You know, we think everything in our lives has to go perfectly. And if there's anything we've learned since the COVID pandemic started, it's that we have no control. I really want y'all to hear this. We have no control. And when we try to resist the change and when we try to force ourselves through stuff, it gets us out of alignment with our source and with who we are. And I'm covered in the chills as I'm saying it. So I know Mm -hmm. this is really good, juicy stuff. We have the opportunity to just let it all go. So our kids are coming in and out. Isn't it amazing that we even have them in the first place? So the dog barks while we're you know, in the middle of working with a client or whatever it is. Okay. Well, we have dogs. Like we have forgotten that we are humans on a journey, right? We have set these rules and these structures about what perfection looks like. And it doesn't exist. We aren't meant to be perfect. If you look at anything in nature, you wouldn't walk up to your favorite waterfall and be like, well, you're flowing really nicely, but if you could just move a little more to the right, that would be great. Yeah, it's you perfect. Yourself all the time. Mm-hmm. There is no such thing as perfection. Yeah. So I think the message that I really want to get across to people is just allow this to flow. My business works so much better when I'm not trying to figure out where every last detail is going to come from. When I stopped controlling where the money was coming from, I started making more money. Mm -hmm. When I stopped wondering how I was going to get my message out, I got invited to start doing podcast interviews in the most random places. And that's how I started getting clients. When I started listening to those coincidental messages, that's really when stuff started to flow. And you know what the best part is? I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about something I was really nervous about. Like I was just really feeling very insecure about it. Cause yes, yeah. even, we even have, in, even the greatest coaches in the world still have insecurities. Yes. That's because you're human and bananas. <laughs> and so my son looked over, I was sitting in a chair across the living room. My son was in the dining room eating and he looked at me and he goes, he like threw out my coaching to me. Oh my goodness. I love and it. He's like, but mom. And I don't even remember what he said, but I would look at him and he's like, I listen to everything you say, mom. And so if we are saying to ourselves in front of our children, I can't do this. I don't know what I'm doing. This is too much for me. I should give up. Yeah. What are we teaching our kids? Yep. All of those things. So let's start saying this is complicated and I'm going to find a solution. It's not either, or it's both. And I, this can running a business can be both the greatest thing we've ever done. And the most frustrating thing we've ever done. Yeah. It's almost guaranteed a mom and a business owner. We can be both a wife and a business owner. We can be both a partner and a business owner. Like we can be anything we want to be. Yeah. And if we stop to stop that forcing and start paying attention to what we're saying, it changes the whole game. Yeah. I love that. That's such a great reminder. And maybe even uh, not a reminder for some, but the first time they've ever been, you know, heard that. So it's awesome. Well, I appreciate you so much and I appreciate all of your wisdom and everything that you've shared with us today. So where is the best place for everyone to find you online? The best place to find me online is either on my website at naturalbornrebel.com. Or uh, I have a really good time on Instagram right now. I'm really digging it. So you can find me on Instagram at birdgirl, B-I-R-D-G-I-R-L 1001. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Bird. Thank you so much. It's nice seeing you. You too. 
thank you for listening to the determined mom show we appreciate you and we would love for you to leave us a review on apple Podcasts. this will help us reach as many other moms as we can don't forget to download your 10 things you should be doing to get more clients from google search guide at rebrand.ly forward slash google 10 